Uh, my name is uh, Bill McCabe. I'm a county legislator in Dutchess County, and it is my real pleasure to introduce Deborah Hall, who has educated me about environmental issues because she has lived through the horrors of not paying attention to quality of our water. And she's been so active and so informative on issues involving the environment, and uh, she is right here to go on and start our program. Thank you, Bill. Um, hi, my name is Deborah Wall, as you know. Um, the Hopo Precision Superfund site has a scary history. Authorities were alerted in 1979 that thousands of gallons of toxic chemicals were purposely spilled. Hundreds of homes with private water wells were in danger of exposure to cancer-causing chemicals in their drinking, cooking, and bath water. In 1994, the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation tested three monitoring wells and three homes, concluding that this neighborhood was not in any danger. They delisted the site. Fast forward to 2003. The Environmental Protection Agency, wanting to archive the site, decided to do more than test three homes. They wanted to be sure that if they were to tell residents that their water was safe, they needed to test every home around the spill site. They tested 75 homes, and of those, 70 were fine, but five were not. And the EPA continued to test. They found more and more homes with contaminated water and air. All this happened during Senator Salan's watch. And we are not the only contaminated site where for over two decades, water could have been the cause for many cancers, liver and kidney disease, and a host of other illnesses. Obviously, there needs to be a change in policy concerning private wells. This is a health issue. The New York State Assembly did their job and passed unanimously a private well testing bill mandating chemical testing for private wells when homes are sold. Twenty-five environmental groups wrote to Senator Salan asking for help. Surely, with the history of Superfund sites in his district and the thousands of people needlessly exposed to these chemicals for over 20 years, he would agree to sponsor this bill in the Senate. We were wrong. History teaches us that if something does not work, change is needed. Change is here in the name of Brian Keeler. Mr. Keeler support, supports mandatory private well testing. And for that reason, and many, many others, the Hopewell Junction Citizens for Clean Water proudly endorses Mr. Brian Keeler. Brian understands that drinking water is our most precious commodity. I'd like to now introduce the next New York State Senator in the 41st District, Mr. Senator. Oh, sorry, I'm calling you Senator already. <laughs> That's all right. Mr. Brian Keeler. Thank you, Deborah. I appreciate that. And I really appreciate the Hopewell Junction Citizens for Clean Water endorsement here today. But first of all, I'd like to commend Deborah for all the work that she's done on this issue, both by educating all of us, as Bill said, but also by keeping this issue front and center, not only in the town of East Fishkill, but also in Dutchess County, in front of the Dutchess County Legislature, and also in front of the state legislature in New York and Albany. And she's also traveled to Washington, I believe, and has testified in front of committees down there as to the importance of this issue. I live less than a mile away from the Hopewell Precision Superfund site, and it was a very sobering morning when I got a knock on my door a few years ago from the EPA telling me that there was a dangerous plume of chemical contamination not far from my home. Uh, the first thing I did was test our water, of course, and luckily for us, we were upstream from the plume and it didn't affect us, but not so lucky for the people downstream. And Deborah's home and David's home is among those homes that are contaminated. The fact that East Fishkill has two Superfund sites and six contaminated well water sites is, it testifies to the fact that chemical contamination can crop up just about anywhere unexpectedly. Nobody assumed or, or believed that it could happen here in Oakville Junction. It's happened in Hyde Park. It's happened recently in Clinton. 
And all of this dictates that we must have a comprehensive, mandatory, well-testing law on the books for New York State to protect all the health and welfare of our families, to protect our children, to protect our property, to, direct, to protect our drinking water. We must know that when you hand a glass of water to your family, to your children, to your friends, and to your neighbors, that that glass of water is clean and it's pure. And Senator Salan's inaction on this particular bill is inexcusable. The Assembly passed a bill, as Deborah said, 141 to nothing. This is not a partisan issue. This is not a financial issue. This is a public health issue that must be addressed. And I promise I will sponsor this bill, the Assembly bill, within the first 30 days of taking office in 2007 so we can get this done finally for the people of New York. And I thank you, Deborah, and I thank the Hopewell Junction citizens for Clean Water for this endorsement. And I think together we can educate each other and we can make sure that this bill is passed so that we can all have safe and clean drinking water in New York. Fantastic. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Thank you.